So, you've come back for another video, I see. Well, I'm glad to be back. And I'm sorry that I missed Monday's video. But you know what? Sometimes things happen. Right, Patrick? Right. So, uh, today's video is something a little bit special. Because not only are we going to get into some more comedy, but uh, we are also going to hit just a little nerve in the body of magic known as nostalgia. Alright, so nostalgia is a pretty, pretty popular mechanism that is stuck inside brains of people and objects. People and objects. So, it's, uh, it's up there in the scale of importance. And today... I'm just going to go ahead and reteach a trick that I taught maybe, you know, 800 years ago when I was just a wee bit lad. And, uh, yeah. So, why don't we let them go into the, uh, the intro, Patrick. Yeah. Yo, 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 what's up, YouTube? It's the Card Trick Master here again today for another video, and I am back once again, guys, with another video. So for today's video, like you guys saw with my buddy Patrick, we're going to just hit a little bit of the nerves in the nervous system of magic, and this nerve is called nostalgia. Now, before we begin this video, please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, down below, comment on the videos you guys want me to do next, and hit that little notification bell so you guys can never miss a video from me. Also, 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 please don't forget to follow me on my social media links, which will be in the description box down below, so you guys can go check me out, say what's up, give me more video ideas. We're still on the, uh, on the road to beating Kodrick Say. I'm just gonna say on the road to 500, because he hasn't reached 500 yet. And if we can all just smash that subscribe button down below, I might actually be able to pass Card Tricks 8 with a majestic flap of my magical, mystical wings. But I'm not drinking Red Bull. I'm drinking water. Water gives you wings. There's gonna be a lot of jealousy in this video because even cards have couples. I mean, even cards are fucking dating. Most of my friends are, and fucking cards are too. I mean, what what the fuck? So, you know, ladies, if me and you, you know, yeah. Oh, jeez, I dropped my starburst. I still hope you guys enjoy, and uh, yeah. Let's transfer over to the magic mat of magical magic. Let's go. Welcome to the Magical Mat of Magical Magic. And today we're going to be using Bicycle Archangels. Now this deck looks like a piece of spooge that has been fermented and left behind for 20 years. Because I've had this deck for probably about 13. So let's just uh, go ahead and get right into the fucking trick. So we're just going to go ahead and have a huge gangbang here of cards. I'm just trying to basically distract you guys while I do this. So you guys aren't bored and leaving my videos. Like you would leave Card Tricks 8 videos, am I right? Here we have one and two aces, and we also have the king and queen of hearts, like this. We have the king and the queen of hearts. We have the king and queen of clubs, the king and queen of diamonds, and the king and queen of spades. So, we have all four couples, and we have the two... Ace Brothers. Now these couples always like to get together and just have a huge orgasmic fun adventure. And if we just took 
maybe this one queen and moved it away from her spouse. All these couples are now messed up. They're not supposed to be who they're with. And they're all kind of upset because affairs are just happening left and right. And spooge is just flying everywhere. Just <laughs> We can go ahead and just make it even worse by just going ahead and mixing up cards so much to the point where no one knows who is who and what is where and which way's up and down. So these brothers, in case you didn't know, they're actually couples therapists. Now, couples therapy is actually an important role in society, especially nowadays in 2021, when there's nothing left but couples and quarantine. So, obviously, as you can tell, these couples are mad because they're not together in the exact same relationship. These couples are also mad because they're not together. <laughs> these couples are also mad because they're not together. And as you know, these couples are also mad because they are not supposed to be together. However, these two ace brothers should be able to help with their degrees in couples therapy. They just gotta go ahead and just knock some sense into some of these couples and hopefully that works. So let's try this again. Again, they're just gonna go ahead and take their clubs and knock some sense into these couples. We'll just see if it works. Okay, like wrestlers, they're just gonna KO, knock some sense into these couples. And last but not least, boom, boom, pow, they're just gonna go ahead and knock some sense into these fucking couples here. And uh, let's just see if these Ace Brothers did their powerful work. So this couple is, uh, wow, it's back together. Wow, that, that affair didn't last long. Uh, they, they, they better get some fucking trust because they don't want this to happen again. So, uh, if you guys want to learn this trick, just stick around for probably about 30 more seconds and I'll be able to teach you guys. One pair of pants later. Welcome to the fucking tutorial. And for today, we're going to just sit here and watch as couples come together and leave and come back together. So first thing second, what you're going to do is you're going to just take out the four queens, four kings, and you're going to line them up with their couples together just like this, just like it's lined up here. It's basically all just a large spooge fest in this place. Take the couples and you're just going to pick them up just like this. It shouldn't disturb the order, you're just going to pick them up one at a time and they should stay together. Now what you're going to do, you're going to take the first top queen and you're going to place it on bottom. And you're going to take off the first two cards and you're going to... Place them down and say, wow, those two don't match. And you're going to do the same thing. You know, you're just going to explain how they're just all having affairs and they're all just, you know, fucking other dudes, wives and husbands. And it's all just a chaotic mess of God knows what. You're going to take off a couple cards from the top. Then you're going to peel out from the bottom and place a couple cards on top. And then the remaining cards you're just going to place back on bottom. That should make it so that... They're still sort of in an order where it's king, queen, king, queen, king, queen, king, queen. But, you know, it's a little bit more mixed up. Now, make sure when this happens that there is a king on bottom. You can do that by just showing them that the cards are all mixed up in random orders. But if there's not a king on bottom, like let's say, for example, there's a queen, you're just going to cut. You're just going to cut the cards until you get to a king, which is right here. Look, you're at a king now, and you're perfect, ready to go. Once you have all those cards mixed up, you're going to have them face up, holding in your left hand, and you're going to take the two ace brothers, you're going to explain how they're couples counselors, and you're going to place them both face up on bottom, you're going to peel off the ace, explain maybe more about the doctor, just kind of talk a little bit more, then take this deck, flip it over, and just place it on top. That is a nonchalant way of basically flipping over that bottom card because you need it done. So now what you're going to do is you're going to outjog the king and take this queen, and you're going to basically explain how they're mad because all these affairs are going on. So you're basically just going to go through and do that only three times with the top three. You don't want to do it with the last three because if you did that, you'd reveal an ace. Which you don't want to happen. So what you're going to do is you're just going to do a triple lift. Since this card is face down, you're going to do a triple lift. Which if you don't know how to do a triple lift, I will leave a link down below. Also up in the card section where you can learn the triple lift. You're going to do a triple lift. Flip over the cards. Then you're going to place one and two just like that so what you should be left with is a king and an ace but they think that it's going to be the two aces because you're going to explain that make sure that the ace is on top or else this trick will not work so now what you're going to do is you're just basically going to take the cards you're going to grab the one of the couples put it into the middle so now you should have the ace on top the two wrong couples in the middle and you should have a king on bottom 
And what you're going to do is you're going to do a thing called an Elmsley count. Now, I like to explain how the couples counselor is going to knock some sense into these couples. When he's really not, you're just basically doing an Elmsley count. So an Elmsley count is when you take the top card, peel it off, then you block push these two cards as one card. So it's a little bit difficult with ruffle cards. Um, I'm not exactly sure why, but if you get a better deck than I do, um, you'll be able to block push two cards as one. And you return that top card you peeled off to the bottom. So it looks like you're basically just counting four cards when actually what you're doing is you're making the two middle couples come together. And then the ace and it's a different king now. So you're basically going to take the two middle cards, place them back down, and you're going to do the exact same thing. You're just going to grab it by putting the ace on top of the couples, putting the couples into the middle, and doing the Elmsley count just like this. And doing that should keep the ace on top should make the two middle couples fixed and a random king again on bottom. You're basically just switching kings and queens together. So you're going to take the ace, place it on top of the next couple, place this couple in the middle, and you're going to do an Elmsley count again. So an Elmsley count is sort of a intermediate sort of move, I guess, but it's not that hard to learn. So you're going to do the same thing. Now let me just break down the Elmsley count for you a little bit. So we just picked up this last wrong couple, and... What you're basically going to do is you're going to, when you have the cards in your mechanic script in your left hand, you're basically going to transfer them to these two fingers and the thumb of your right hand. You're going to take your thumb and peel off the top card of the deck and hold it in your mechanic script. Then you're going to block push these two cards as one by just taking your thumb and pushing the two cards off. If you can do it quick enough, I guess it doesn't really matter if it comes apart too much. But you don't want to like show that it's two. You kind of want to make sure that it's one. And when you're grabbing this with your thumb, you're going to be returning that top card to the bottom. And you're going to grab the two top cards that you just block pushed. You're going to go one and one. Just like that. Pretty simple. Nothing to it. And then you're going to take the last couple, place it down. And you're going to basically flip over the two aces and say the aces should be doing their work correctly. What's up, y'all? So it's Zach, the editor here. I just want to say that I know in that last clip, it was very loud with background noise. I have two tiny little sisters who are annoying little pests. And so kind of just bear with me with it. Uh, they were being loud and uh, not shutting the fuck up. So thank you. Appreciate it. Now, here's a move that I do. You don't have to do this. It doesn't really matter. But I just like to take the cards and since this card is going to be a king and this card's going to be a queen, I want to show the king in the back like I did at the beginning. So I'm basically going to take the cards and flip them over by squaring them up and flipping them over like this. That makes the king, again, in the back. It's just a cool way to show the kings the exact same way that you had them at the beginning. You're going to flip over, tell them that the aces did their magical work, and the couples are all back together. And uh, we did it. Good job, everyone. I'm so proud of all of you. And um, you guys deserve a gift. And that gift is heading to the outro. You're welcome. No one will ever hurt you again. So Patrick and I hope that you enjoyed the video. Hit the like button for your boy Patrick. And I'll see you guys on Thursday instead of on fucking Wednesday. Because I'm an idiot. Keep mastering life. I better fucking leave this time. You know what happened last time.